Hello everyone, Sentinel2, welcome to another follow-up overview, this time on Light Overlay. We're looking at some of the features I haven't covered since, as well as the new one available like so. So if we go to the config area in mod menu, which you can also probably find one in the uh, .minecraft setup config folder, you have the ability to change the reach at which the light level will display. We've got the light level display like so. We've got the ability to show numbers now, which is in the latest version, snapshots and otherwise you can see inside. You have a color option for the yellow and red of the crosses or X's, and you've got the line width to make it easier to see them. So we'll just go with the default, which is F7, I believe. And you can see obviously yellow like so. And if we went down underneath or something, it should be red more so when you're in cave systems. So yeah. If we change this obviously, we can change it to have a number instead. So you can see zero light level, and then you can see it counting up, and that should count up to at least 15, which we get something like a torch. You can see obviously the middle is 14, and everything else obviously goes down as the light level would when there is less of a light source nearby. If we change again, we can change the Color. So just go to, I guess, zeros and maybe, I guess, A, zero, zero or so. Error. So clearly I'm missing something. I need four and then like so. A, 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 and two zeros. There we go. And then we'll go C, F, A or something. And then see how that does. Um, it's 9 maybe, just for something a bit different. Obviously, it doesn't affect the number related one, but it also affects the crosses or X's. So we go to that. See the possibly a color change there. We do that. Go in here. We can see that the red is now a completely different color. So you can change that to whatever you want instead of red and yellow. Obviously I didn't pick the best choices, but um, either way, you can change those if you want. You can change the line width to make it easier to see them easily. We'll make them thicker. As you can see there. Compared to what it was prior. You can obviously change the cross level as well as the reach that you'll see them. Oop, bit intense there. So you can see quite a reach there. And obviously it is affecting my FPS and possibly in my memory. So we'll turn that down. Um, I'm assuming that's also regardless of render distance as well. So that is quite interesting at the least. Uh, we'll save that. There we go. And then the other is obviously for how far you can see. So we just go here, go over here actually, because it's a lot more flat and easily see viewable. If we change that. Not sure if that is for light level itself, rather than what I'm thinking, because obviously the other is reach. Um, yeah, that is the light level itself, so I'm assuming that's what's going to reflect, um, similarly to the number one, where obviously it will display whatever numbers, and the cross will probably be a either a stronger colour or a more... Oh, okay, it changes from yellow to red, so if you want to have it where it shows the least amount of light, you can change it to that. If you want to change it to the most amount of light, 
and you can change that as well. So if you put it to zero, that should change to yellow. Yep, and if you put it in, in between, it'll reflect in, in between, like so. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.